and we're back with the second part. So in this one then we're going to be starting off by placing our car park on the outside and then we're just going to come in and place all of the floors. But to begin our car park then we're just going to come to the bottom left hand corner for the apartment building and next to this we're just going to count out 7 blocks. And on the 7th block you can just place 2 high with your chisel stone bricks followed by 7 oak leaves and 2 more chisel stone bricks again. So that is now the front section marked out, but behind the last block we just placed, we're just going to extend 30 blocks back with our oak leaves, and then two more stone blocks again. Also for those that have actually built stuff next to this, this is actually the furthest point out that our car park's going to go, so if you wanted to now you can actually build stuff next to it. Next then, as you can see on screen, we're going to place it 4 blocks out with our oak leaves, and then 5 blocks behind that, but making sure when you do do this to place too high with your stone blocks between all of them. After this, you can just place your oak leaves to the back, and for this, you just want to place 26 blocks out with them. So once you have actually placed all of these, it should finish in line with the outside row of our apartment building. But next though, we're just going to extend our oak leaves all the way to the wall but leaving a one block space where we are just going to place too high again. There you go then, that's the outside for our car park marked out, but after this we are just going to go on top of all of the oak leaves that we added, and we're just going to place our iron bars on top of all of them. Once you have actually done that though, the next thing we're going to be doing is just marking out where all of our parking spaces are going to go. And for this then, we're just going to be using our courts, and we're just going to be placing 5 blocks back with our courts every time. And between each line we add, we're just going to leave a 4 block space every time. So for the first line then, we're just going to count 5 blocks out from a corner, and then again replacing the first 5 grass blocks in the floor with your courts. That's the first parking space marked out, so we can just carry on now and do the rest. After this, as I mentioned, we're just going to fill in all of the space that we left with our courts. That's the spaces marked out for the left. Once we sleep though, we're just going to mark them out for the back. And again, we're just going to be using the same design with our courts by leaving a 4 block space between each line. But unlike last time though, we're just going to place our first line in the corner 
and then just carry on across. Next, you can just go ahead and fill in all the spaces that we cleared out. And there you go then, that's all of the parking spaces marked out. The next thing we're going to be doing then is just replacing all of the grass blocks in the car park with our stone. That's all of the grass blocks removed, now just to fill it all in. As we have now finished off the car park, we're just going to come inside now and place all of the floors. So the first floor we're going to be doing is going to be the ground level floor, and then for the rest of them above that, they are going to be the same design. So for this bit then, I'm going to show you how to make the ground floor and the first floor, and then you can just repeat what we did on the first floor for the floors above. But starting off with our ground floor then, we're just going to replace all of the grass blocks in the floor with our oak wood planks. That is all of the grass blocks removed and we are just going to go ahead now and fill it all in with our oak wood planks.
So the next thing we are going to be doing after this is we're just going to be furnishing at the ground floor. But to start this off though, we're just going to add a wall in to divide the room up. And for this, we're just going to be using our spruce wood planks, where on the left of the doorway, we're just going to count the third row out. And from here, we're just going to place eight blocks back and you can just extend all of these up. So once you have actually done this, the next thing we're going to be doing is just placing our oak leaves in front of the wall. And we're going to be doing this on the second block in from the left. And you just want to start off by digging two blocks down and just placing your glowstone there. So by digging down two blocks instead of one, it still means you get all of the light emitting from the glowstone, but it does mean the glowstone's hidden away from sight. But after this, we're just going to be adding a rug in front of our doorway. And all you want to do for this is just count one block out diagonal from our doorway. And here you can just place eight blocks out with your red carpet. Then you just want to place one block in front of the outside block on either side, and then in front of that, another row of eight. So in the space that you have got remaining in the centre, you can just fill it with your white carpet, and afterwards we're just going to come over to the opposite wall, where we are just going to start by placing our bookshelves. So before we do actually fill in our bookshelves, you just need to use your grey wall at the back, and just fill in at the furthest row out from the right. Once you have done that though in front of this four wide section, on the outside two rows we're just going to place four high with our bookshelves. Then in the middle you can just place your fence posts. Next once you have actually done that we're just going to go over to the top right hand corner where we are just going to be placing a seat. So for this then you just want to count one block out and then one block back from the corner and here we're just going to place five blocks back with our red wall to start off with. Then on the left hand side of the first red wall block we placed you can just extend it out another five. Once you have done that though, in front of the outside block on either side, we're just going to place at one more block of red wool and just add our slabs in the middle. But in front of the seat we just added, we are just going to be adding a small table and all you want to do for this is just place nail shape with your spruce wood slabs. And that's the sofa and table added. The next thing we're going to be adding in the corner is going to be our water feature. So as you may have seen from the intro, it is actually a slightly more complex design. So the easiest way to see how I actually do this is just to follow what I'm doing on screen. And then you can see what I'm doing from there. But to start it off though, we're just going to begin by placing our border for it. And all you want to do is just come in front of the far left hand row of glass panes on the back wall. Where we are just going to place four glass panes out in front of it. Then just coming in front of the far right hand row of glass panes on the left hand wall. And this time we're just going to place it three blocks out. Then you just want to connect both of these up by just placing your glass panes in a zigzag pattern to the connect up at the end. Next, once we sleep, we're just going to remove all of the wooden planks that we've got left within this space that we've just marked out. So you should now have the border for the water feature completely marked out, but the next thing we're going to be doing is just replacing all of the dirt blocks that are visible with our oak wood planks.
After you've done that, you can just fill in the space with your water. For the next bit then, as I mentioned, the easiest way to see how I actually do it is just to follow what I'm doing on screen. But we are just going to start by coming to the back corner, where we are just going to place it three blocks out with our grass. And then afterwards, just extending it up one more row. Then with our stone up, we're going to come on top of the top left hand grass block, where we are just going to place two blocks out. Then sticking with our stone again, we're just going to place another two blocks out, going downwards in a diagonal pattern. After this, we're just going to add two more grass blocks in front, and then underneath the top stone block, we're just going to place a bucket of water. And that's the water feature done. So we haven't actually got too much left to do for the ground floor now, but the next thing we are going to be doing is just placing our desk. So on the other side of the spruce wood wall we extended out this episode, we're just going to count one block in using our spruce wood slabs, and we're just going to start off by placing three slabs out. And when you do this you want to make sure to place it on the top half of the block. Then on the right of the last block you can just extend it all the way so it leaves a one block space next to the wall. So you are just extending it out another 5 blocks. But once you have done this, all we've got left to do for the ground floor is just to place our oak leaves in the corner and a painting on the wall. We're starting off with our oak leaves then, we're just going to start off by doing it exactly the same as what we did before, by just digging down 2 blocks, then placing your glowstone and 4 oak leaves on top. Then on the back wall behind the desk, we're just going to add a painting, and for this you can use any 2x1 painting. And that's the ground floor completely finished off now, so we can now come up and start on the first floor. As I mentioned though, what we're doing on this floor, you should want to repeat for all of the floors above. But to start this off then, we're just going to mark out where our doorway is going to be going. And to begin with, we're just going to come to the left hand wall, where we are just going to place 5 grey wall blocks out to begin with. Then in line with the last block on the other side of the wall, and just next to our glass panes, we're just going to place one more grey wall block. And for all of these, you can just extend them all up. So in the two wide space that you should have left now, you can just add your doors and then just place your grey wall on the top. That's the doorway done, so now we're just going to carry on by placing our floor plan for the bedroom and a storage room at the back. But we are just going to mark the outside for our bedroom first, and for this you just want to come over to the right hand wall, and next to the glass pane on the left, we're just going to place 8 blocks out with our grey wall. And on the left of the last block we place, you can just place two more blocks out and one more block diagonal on the end of that. Next, as you might have guessed, you can just extend all of these up. So same as what we had with our doorway then, you should just be left with a two block space now, but instead of placing our doors, we're just going to leave it open, but you can still add your grey wall above. The next room we are going to be marking out, as I mentioned, is going to be a storage room opposite. So on the left hand wall then, we're just going to begin by coming to the far right hand window, and two blocks away on the right, we're just going to begin by placing five blocks back with our courts. Then same as before we do need to leave a space for our doorway, but we are going to have our door in the middle this time. So you can just place one block, then leave a one block space, and then another two blocks after that. But afterwards, as you might have guessed, you can just extend them all up.
so you should now just be left with a one wide space and in here which can add a door with two quartz blocks on the top of it. The last thing we got to do then to finish off marking out our floor plan is just to extend across the top two rows of quartz so it connects up to the other side of the grey wall. The next thing we're going to be doing then before we do actually start furnishing the room is we're just going to dot some torches round. So for this you just want to follow what I'm doing on screen but we are just going to begin up by placing two above our doorway. That's our torches added. The next thing we're going to be doing though is just adding a rug in front of our doorway. So for this then you can just start off by counting one block out in front of the grey wall row between the two quartz pillars and from here going left you can just place six blocks out with your red carpet. And behind the last block you can extend it back another four and then another three on the right of the last block. Once you've done that though, you can just come to the block in front of the last block we placed and just place it three more blocks out going right again. And then you can just connect the two rows up and fill in the space in the middle with your white carpet. So we have now almost finished placing our rug. We just need to go ahead now and add two more blocks of red carpet. So we're just going to add one on the back of the rug and then one on the right. And that's the rug added, we are just going to continue on now and add some more decoration in front of our doorway. But the next thing we're going to be doing half a block off the ground is just using our spruce wood slabs and just place them in front of the free wide grey wall section on the right. And then above this on the two outside blocks we're just going to add two trip wire hooks. Once you've done that though we're just going to come over to the space where we placed our third torch and we're just going to place it one more spruce wood slab half a block off the ground again and on top this time we're just going to be adding a plant pot with a yellow flower in. So that's all of the decoration we're going to be adding for our doorway done but the next thing we're going to be doing is just adding a small sofa. So for this you just want to come to the corner to start off with and just come at one block out and then one block in front again and just place it four red wall blocks out to begin with. Then behind the first block we placed you can extend it out another five and then as we have so far for all of our sofas just add a red wall block on the outside and either side and then just placing your stone slabs in the middle. Next though after we sleep we're just going to add some bookshelves in front of the storage room and all you want to do to start this off is just come to the second block in from the corner and just place it 2x4 with your bookshelves. Then on the bottom block next to this on either side we're just going to place it one block of grey wool followed by two redstone lamps and one more grey wool block again. So the redstone lamps that we have just added here we are actually going to be powering on but if you did want them to emit light you can just swap them in for your glowstone. The next thing we're going to be doing after this though is we're just going to be placing our kitchen. So once we have grabbed all the materials we're going to need we're just going to start off by placing our fridge and one block in from the edge of our grey wall you can just place two by three with your quartz to start off with and then two buttons on the centre block. Thank you. 
and afterwards just following them up by placing two cauldrons on the left and for both of these you just want to fill in with your water and place a lever on the block behind both of them. Then after this we're just going to place it one birch wood plank followed by two slabs. Once you have done that though we're just going to finish off our back wall of the kitchen by adding two more furnaces followed by four birch wood slabs. But in front of the last slab we placed it you can just extend it out another five more blocks and then once you get to the end underneath the last slab you placed you can just add another slab underneath. Next though behind this we're just going to add two seats and all we're going to use for this is just our spruce wood slabs. Once you've done this though one block away from the first spruce wood slab we added we're just going to add two by two with our birch wood planks. Then we're just going to come on the top left hand block next to our fridge where we are just going to use our birch wood planks and we're just going to extend them all the way so it finishes on the block next to where our furnaces are. But on the two blocks above our furnaces we're just going to use our cobblestone stair and then on the block next to that one more birch wood plank. But to finish off placing this top section we're just going to finish off by adding two more birch wood slabs. So all we have got left to do now for our kitchen is just to place our light. And for this then you can just place 2x2 two two with your redstone lamps to begin with above the centre console. Once you have done that with your upside down stairs you can just place them all around the redstone lamps that we added and just making sure to fill in the corners as well. And there you go then, that's the kitchen finished off and that does also mean that this section of the room is finished off as well. But all we have got left to do for this episode then is just place our bedroom and also the storage room next to it. But to start this room off then once we've grabbed everything we're going to need, we're just going to begin by placing an anvil with two oak leaves on top of each other and you want to place this on either side your window. Once you've done that though we're just going to place our bed so leaving a one block space in front of the far right anvil and we're just going to place three wide with our white wool to begin with. Then behind that we can just place three by three with our red wool and on top of the white wool we're just going to add our white carpet just to make it look a bit more like a pillow. After this though on the wall behind we're just going to place a two by two painting and again you can use any painting for this. So once you have actually found a painting you want, we're just going to be adding some storage next to our doorway. And for this you can just place two grey wool blocks on the bottom row and then above this two lots of two chest followed by another row of grey wool. So as this is purely for decoration the top chest isn't actually going to open but if you do want it to be a functional chest you can just remove the top two blocks of grey wool and just leave it open. The last thing we're going to be adding to the bedroom then is going to be our light. So for this then you just want to come to the corner and we're just going to count two blocks out and then another two back and then here on the roof you can just place two blocks out with your redstone lamps.
but once you have done that, that does finish off our bedroom, and we can just come across now and start on our storage room. Now this is actually going to be the last room in the apartment that we need to do, and we're just going to begin up by adding a light in the bottom left hand corner. So all we're doing for this is just placing a redstone lamp, and we are actually going to be powering this one on. But once you have done that, you can just surround it with your quartz slabs. Then on the top row on our grey wall, we're just going to be placing our upside down stairs all the way around. And next we're just going to be using our quartz slabs again, where on the top half of the block for all of the three blocks in the corner, you can just place a quartz slab. Then after this with our chest, we're just going to be placing them all the way up the two outside rows on both the grey wall sides. That's the chest had for the front wall, now just to add them on the right. But in between the two rows that you should have left, we're just going to be placing a quartz block followed by a stair and another quartz block on top of that. And there you go then, that was the last thing we need to do for the storage room, and that is also the last thing we need to do to finish off this floor. Now as I mentioned then, what we're doing on this floor, you just need to repeat for all of the floors above, and choose the same design. But once you have done that, that does mean we've finished off our entire apartments.